and again another day of rain as you can see all the water that I've got running down the hill underneath my underneath my gravel that's coming underneath the trailer from the back of that hill it's a lot of water it is never going to dry up and I'm never going to get my septic covered I'll probably be fighting with this mud until June the way it keeps looking uh, and it's too muddy to grade the back side of the hill it's just too muddy to do anything it's just driving me crazy it's too muddy to dig footers it's too muddy to try to rebuild my deck too muddy to crawl underneath the trailer to put new PEX water lines. I mean, it's just everywhere is so muddy. It's enough to make you pull your hair out. Well, in my case, it's enough to make me pull my one hair out of my head. <laughs> so, I might as well walk down the driveway and show you guys how much water we've got washing my driveway up right here okay and then I know you can't tell the grade of the hill but it's it's decent you know so here's the front of my septic system that I've still not been able to get dirt in to get it fully covered now I can use it but I still need a lot of uh, dirt I've only got five Tri-axle dump truck loads full of dirt. Each load is 20 tons, and each load costs $300. And I still need 15 more 20-ton loads to get the ground 20 inches high on grade. And it's been wet since before Halloween. Just too wet to do anything. And it's... Man, it's frustrating. I can't... I can't even put insulation right at the trailer because it's so wet here's a soft spot water coming down the hill this is where my truck likes to sink gotta get that fixed here's the ditch you can see how much water's coming down Ooh, goodness so yeah so I want to show you guys my redneck ingenuity that I've been doing on this trailer. Okay, now doesn't that just look like shit? What happened? That blue stuff is dock foam. It is wintertime. It caught me faster than I can get my underpinning up, and I ran out of money. And I had to put more important things first. So that blue foam comes from old docks that the Corps of Engineers. Um, told everybody it had to be replaced so my neighbor up here had a whole huge stack of it so I used that as my underpinning for right now just to keep the heavy breezes and stuff out from underneath of it and honestly it works I, mean, I know it's ugly that's something else I can't do till it dries up I can't get the underpinning installed this old deck I'm leaving it here for the simple fact that it was the main thing Hi, Jamie. It was the main thing keeping this whole trailer from falling over. And I've shorted it up a little bit. I've been kind of using it in storage, just kind of throw some junk. And it really does look like I live in a shithole trailer park right now. Pardon my language. <laughs> but it's so aggravating that I can't, I can't even get this deck tore out and replaced because the ground's too wet. I can't dig holes. I can't put concrete. It's just too damn wet. And tonight, it's going to get below freezing, and all this wet is going to freeze. And it's going to suck. You can see, you can see the water running off of this hill. I mean, it's, it's just water all over the damn place. And it's so soppy. And on top of this, this is the good side. This is the side where I get a lot of the wind, so it's sealed up pretty tight. This ground is nothing but crawdad, 
mounds and moles and they are destroying this hillside this year something else i got to tend with it's so soft it's like somebody comes through here with a ground ripper and just turned it into mush so something else i have to remedy that i can't do because it's too damn muddy Ugh, filling hole and it's just driving me insane I mean, yeah, I can do stuff on the inside, but all the stuff on the inside costs a lot of damn money to do, and I can't spend any money right now. Not until probably end of February. I gotta try to save everything I can. So, this is my, I know this looks like junk, guys. I promise, I'm normally not like this. This is my junk pile. All this is stuff I've ripped out of the trailer that I need to haul off to scrap and uh, just to get rid of it. But right now, until it dries up and I can get over here with my truck, I'm just keeping it covered and trying to keep it tidy somewhat. But there you can see the lake. Uh, I'm thinking about actually walking down looking at the lake just to see how much is coming up. It was a winter pool finally uh, two weeks ago. They've been struggling letting so much water out to get it back down. And uh, now it looks like it's coming back up again. So I'm going to go down there and check that out. Oh, yeah. Truck on the left is my 2013 Dodge Ram. Truck on the right is a 96 F-150 two-wheel drive. That uh, It's going to be taking the place of the Dodge Ram. That's my last huge bill, and it's on the way out the door. And by the time that happens, I will have zero debt. I will be done. And I can start putting the money in the bank so giving it to everybody else. What really sucks is I've already got three loads of dirt that I've already paid for. Like back in, gosh, I think it was first of November. I never would have thought it would have stayed with this long. You know, I've already got those three loads paid for and they just can't bring them to me. So I'm gonna ride down here and see what the lake looks like. <sighs> okay, okay. None shall pass. None shall pass. Okay. I don't mean to keep the camera pointed down so much. Guys, I'm just trying to respect some of the neighbors around here and not flash them on the YouTube. Some people don't really like it, I'm, I'm sure. So I'd rather not upset anybody. You know, trying to be a little respectful. Man, it's so wet and just funky. Now you watch, I will bust my rear going down this path. Another thing I plan on doing today is if it ever does dry up, I'm going to get a subcompact tractor, an old one, something that's very affordable that I can pay cash for. And uh, I'm going to use the little subcompact tractor to do all my grade work. Instead of paying somebody with like a, you know, I don't know what to pay, I guess a mini excavator or something like that. That kind of stuff is expensive, so instead of paying somebody else all that money, I'd rather just get a small tractor. And I got word that there was an old gray market Kubota in town. It's like a little four-wheel drive diesel, three-cylinder diesel tractor. And uh, I'm going to go check that out see what the scoop is on that thing so yeah there's the lake it's down but then you can definitely see all the, the water coming off of the hill over there so yeah it's definitely wet I wonder how the fishing would be if I could get to the water. I'd like to have some 
first catfish in the freezer, maybe for this weekend. So, anyways, I've been reading a lot of your all's comments and stuff on a couple of the videos about the trailer, and I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I see where some of y'all have made the comment, like, I really wish I could do something like that. And, uh, you know, my, my question is, why can't you? I understand some of y'all have, you know, families, children, you're single, you don't make a lot of money. Um, try not to walk a bit. Water path. But, uh, you know, the hardest thing for me, ooh, check that moss out. That's pretty cool. I like moss. I know I'm a weirdo. Uh, the hardest part for me was just taking that first step and I just got sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was like, you know, I'm done, man. I'm not paying a stupid house payment no more. I'm not letting the first words that come out of my mouth when I wake up in the morning be son of a, you know what, or OF. I just had it and, uh, after my mom passed away, I was just, uh, I didn't have nothing really to keep me, keep me tied down, I guess. You know, no more responsibilities other than myself. I thought there was a boat going down the water. So, uh, I called my realtor. I said, hey, I want to sell this as soon as possible. And I think... I think I'm fat now, shape. But also, she was there like two days later. Checked out the house and wrote up the contract. And on July 3rd, we closed. And that was it. And then I kicked off the other phase of ridding myself of all the debt that's followed me ever since I was 16 years old. I wasn't taught about money when I was little. I was around the people that believe that just finance it, just borrow money, just go in debt. It'll be okay. You'll have a car payment till you die. I had to really change my way of thinking and get around a different group of people. You know, I had to get rid of some friends. I had to quit doing some of the dumb stuff I was doing. It was kind of a, now to think about it, it was a pretty long process. You know, I didn't realize it, but in the last five or six years, I was taking small little baby steps. You know, eating that elephant one piece at a time until the day come where I was like, okay, I'm ready to take the jump, man. Let's, let's blow this popsicle stand. And I did. But if you all want something, want to do something similar, you can. It's the hard part is getting the momentum. You know, taking that first step. Just doing it. But, you know, I know there's some people out there, and a lot of you all have made comments on my videos. You know, you live in a bad part of town. You're in a bad situation. You know, you hate being in the city. You hate just the whole rat race. And you wish you could do it. Well, I'm telling you, you can. You know, it seems daunting at first, but once you start making the progress... And taking steps towards that goal it gets easier here's that little tractor I was telling you about I thought it was four-wheel drive this is what they call a gray market tractor Yanmar diesel three-cylinder diesel I thought it was four-wheel drive that sucks plus I think this guy's smoking a little dope he's got $2,500 for his thing he's a little bit high like thousand dollars too high if it was four wheel drive, I might think about it though. You know, I hope my neighbor here don't mind me videoing, but you see this nice little cute place here? It's got a wonderful deck on the back side. That was built around a 1969 Shasta trailer. Yep, that there is a little bitty 20 foot trailer underneath that place. And the inside is beautiful. That's kind of what I'm going for, but cooler. So here I am. I'm gonna go up my driveway. Ain't no shame in my single wide game, y'all. 
when I poured my driveway, I thought I knew what I was doing, and I used too much big gravel, which makes it almost impossible, if you're not four-wheel drive, to get up my driveway, especially when it's wet. So, I gotta fix that too, because that's what happens when you're a man and you think you can do everything. So you really want to know what's batshit crazy about this weather? We're under a winter storm warning. And they're calling for maybe two to four inches of snow starting around four o'clock this afternoon. And tonight's going to get like zero degrees. Well, currently it's 12, quarter to one. It is 57 degrees outside. I'm in a t-shirt. And it's totally comfortable out here. And it's raining. And it's not stopped raining. Well, it's more of a, a spit, but it's enough to get you wet. Uh, man, if this rain would only go away. This video might as well be titled, Marty does nothing but bitch and moan all day about the wet and the rain. And now, the sleet and the snow... Oh, you see it bouncing off of me. That just goes to show you how crazy weather in Kentucky is. It's 58 degrees. 4, 30, 5 o'clock today. And now it's about 8 o'clock. And it's... Oh, shit. I guess it's probably 32 degrees, 31 degrees. And we have a mix of rain, sleet, and a little bit of snow. Or freezing rain. And it is slick. It's just crazy. Just so you can see it. Yeah. And yeah, my big light stopped working. That's awesome. Yeah. One extreme to the next. 58. It's been freezing rain. Well, there is one little piece of good news. A little nugget. Here is part of the countertop that my buddy Pate removed from the house that he's doing a full remodel on and he's letting me have a lot of this countertop that uh, he's taken out. This was a big island in his kitchen and his kitchen is huge. It's absolutely huge. This looked tiny in his kitchen where it was sitting. So we're thinking maybe I can take this apart because there's a seam here right there. And it's got little fasteners where it's drawn together. I'm going to maybe take this off and cut it straight down. And you can buy new edges like this stuff here. You can get it at Lowe's and cover the, the bare edge. And it's got a few little spots on here that need to be repaired. And I was going to turn this into my island in my kitchen maybe. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and get it out of his place. That way he didn't have to you know walk on it. Because he's starting to do a bunch of uh, shiplap and electrical stuff in his house and i just you know he gave it to me so i wanted to get it out of there as soon as i could just another thing to sit around and get in my way <laughs> but it, it's a good piece it's like nine feet long and uh, it's got the little backsplash area here i might be able to use the whole piece but i just don't know i just want to get it on hand in case i could utilize it for something i'd have it here and if i don't use it or something else comes along you know i'll just give it to somebody so Anyways, folks, I guess that's my, I guess you call it a vlog for the day on what's going on with the trailer. I'm just pretty butthurt about this weather. I'm just so over it, man. But, it is what it is. It's not going to stick around forever, I hope. So, if y'all would, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.